Okay, drivers behind the line. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, go. And as we begin our autonomous period over on the Red Alliance, Team 4272 as well as Team 5010 are both scoring power cells into that outer port. Meanwhile, Team 24 on the Blue Alliance is also scoring some of those power cells in the high goal. And our tele-operated period begins. All teams hard at work to collect those power cells. All over on the Blue Alliance, Team 3947 scores a few power cells in that lower port. It looks like both teams, 4008 and 5010 on the Red Alliance, are lined up to score, and 5010 did get some of those power cells in that high port. Forty-two seventy-two also scores some of those power cells in that high port. While over on the Blue Alliance side, it looks like Team 4008 might be playing some defense on Team 1024. Meanwhile, Team 1747 is lining up and scoring some of those power cells into that outer port. Over on the Red Alliance, it looks like they're keeping the balls rolling with both teams 4272 and 5010 scoring into their high goal. Looks like Team 4008 is playing some good defense on Team 1024 as 1024 lines up to score. With just about 45 seconds left in the match, it looks like the Red Alliance currently has the lead with a score of 72 to 63. And it looks like teams are getting ready because our end game period has begun and they're all getting ready to climb. Looks like Team 3947 is waiting for 1024 to get on the hook. It looks like we have two Blue Alliance robots attempting to climb. Team 3947 is off the ground, 1024 raise as well. Got three seconds left. That's the match. Alrighty, and let's see those scores in qualification match 49. It looks like the winner is the Blue Alliance. The score of 132 to 68.